Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you two possible ways to fix the problem of black screen with mouse pointer during startup in Windows 10. So basically what happens is when you power on your PC, it loads up as usual until it gets to this point where you are supposed to see your desktop. But instead of that, it shows you an entire black screen with only your mouse pointer showing on the screen, as you can see on this laptop. Now, there are several possible reasons why you may be having this problem, but the most common cause is your user shell being corrupted, either by some malware applications or system updates. The user shell manages various Windows Explorer functions like the taskbar, the desktop, and other user interface features. So if you're having this error, it's likely that some malware or incompatible system updates have managed to corrupt or change the value data of your user shell. Hence, certain Explorer functions like desktop and taskbar tend to malfunction. You can apply any one of the two methods in this video depending on what you think might have caused this problem in your case. And of course, if one method doesn't work for you, you can try the other method and see if it works. And now without further ado, let's get right to it. The first method is more suitable if you suspect that this problem could be due to certain malware changing the value data of your user shell. So to fix that, you need to manually correct the value data of your shell. This is quite a straightforward process and here's how you do that. Now while on the black screen, press the keyboard combination Ctrl Alt Delete at the same time and that should bring you to this blue screen with different options. Here select Task Manager from the list. And in a moment, you should see this task manager page pop up. Here, click on the file menu and select run new task. You should see a dialog box like this asking for the name of the program, document or window you want to open. Here, you want to open the registry editor. So I will type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, that's regedit as shown on the screen. And then click on the checkbox below where it says create this task with administrative privileges and then hit OK. You should then see your registry editor page pop up. Here you want to double click on the folder HKey Local Machine. And that should open up a number of other subfolders underneath it. You can also click the little arrow next to each folder to expand it. Now next you want to double click on the folder named Software. Then locate the folder named Microsoft and double click on it. Next, check for the folder named Windows NT. And double click on it. Then double click on the folder current version right underneath it. Now look for the folder named WinLogOn. And double click on it. Now I will also include the path to this folder in the video description in case you want to write it out. At this point, you should have this bunch of files on the right side of the screen. Here you want to look for the file named Shell. These files are arranged alphabetically, so you want to scroll down to the S category and there you should see the shell. Now double click on it. And then you should have this dialog box pop up. In the field under the value data, you want to ensure it says explorer.exe as shown on the screen. Now this is usually the value that certain malware gets to change into some other executable file name that it would save somewhere on the computer. And this could be the reason why you may not see your desktop and other GUI functions. Also, if you notice any unusual icon or images on your desktop after installing some applications, then this could also be the solution for you. So here you want to ensure that your value data is written as explorer.exe as shown on the screen once again. If not, then delete whatever you currently have on it and then type in explorer.exe. Then click on OK to save changes. Now close the registry editor. 
and also close the task manager. Again, press the keyboard combination, Control Alt Delete at the same time. It should bring you back to this blue screen. Here on the bottom right corner, you should see the power icon. Click on it and select Restart to reboot your computer. Now this could take some additional time, so you might see the restart process taking longer than usual, but that is okay. Now upon restarting, you should be able to log back in and access your desktop and other GUI functions as usual. And if for some reason this doesn't work for you, then you should proceed to the second suggestion. This second method is more suitable if you suspect that your black screen error could be as a result of a window update you recently installed or some applications that you've installed and that you think might be causing this problem. Here we'll be using the troubleshooting tool from Advanced Startup Options to either revert back to the previous version of Windows or boot to safe mode and uninstall the application that could be causing this error. To do this, while on the black screen, press the keyboard combination, Control alt delete at the same time. And that should bring you to this blue screen once again. Here on the bottom right corner of the screen, you will see the power icon. Now press and hold down the shift key and then select restart from the power options. Keep holding down the shift key until you see the advanced startup option page. Here you want to click on Troubleshoot and then on the page that follows select Advanced Options. Okay, now here you get to decide which option is more suitable in your case. If this black screen error occurred after you installed some major updates, say you upgraded from Windows 10 build 1709 to build 1803, then you can select the option that says go back to the previous version and then follow the instructions to revert to your previous build and that could possibly fix the black screen problem. But if you suspect that this could be coming from an application you recently installed, then you want to boot to safe mode and then uninstall or modify the application from there. To do that, you want to click on startup settings here. Then on the page that follows, click on restart. Wait a bit for the startup settings page to show up. Here you can see the option four that says enable safe mode. And to select it, you need to press either F4 or the number 4 on your keyboard. Then wait for your computer to boot into safe mode. Now from here you can go to the Windows search and type Add or Remove Programs. Then click on Add or Remove Programs from the search result. Wait a bit for the page to open up. And here you can see a list of all the programs you have currently installed on your computer. Here you can check for the program you suspect might be causing this problem. And then click on it and select Uninstall to remove it. 
And if you don't remember the program you recently installed, then you can go to the place where it says sort by. And then click on the drop down to select install date. Then you should have your programs listed in the order of date of installation. And from here you can locate the most recent installations. And by the way, some programs are designed to install themselves automatically along with other programs. So if you find a program you don't remember installing and you think that this might be causing the black screen error, then simply click on it and select uninstall to remove it. Afterwards, you can simply restart your PC to boot back into normal mode. And hopefully your black screen error gets resolved. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.